Okay, hi YouTube, back again. This is going to be, we have to do this into two parts because YouTube now does not allow us to um, mash our videos together on YouTube and I guess I don't have whatever it is that you need to do that. You know, my son said I don't have it. We don't have it. So, okay, fine. All right, so we did the top, which is right here, which I'm gonna have to put this back in. Um, to do my lower. So my lower is, oh, I can't touch it. My lower is all clean and dry and ready to go. Oops, put my gloves on, my glove, so that I can, okay, so we're gonna set, I'm gonna use a whole tube. I was gonna use the half, but then I decided not to because I may have to use that half a tube on the top because I still have bare spots. Uh, don't think I'll have any on the bottom. I'm pretty confident the bottom won't have any. Um, one suggestion to denture fit themselves. Um, when you send the primer, send a few more extra of these little swabbies um, because I guess, you know, when you're doing like me and you have to use three tubes, two of these don't work. Well, especially when you've got, you know, I still have um, left over there. Okay, so let's put this here. All right, so, and I dip it real quick because it just sucks it up really fast. I hope I have enough left over. Not much, little bit. Okay. So, now, we're going to go all on here. So, I had to watch a video because the, um, how to do it here on the top. It's not on the video, so I'm going to show you guys here. So, I'm going all in here. And I'm getting all down in here really good, too. This is where I have a lot of problem as well. This has gotten really loose for me, too. Um, God, it almost looks to me like it's not getting up there, but I know it is. I know it is. Maybe if they can make these a little, um, all right. So now I let that sit for two minutes. And again, in between these, I'm going to pause the video. So pause that, I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna wait the two minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, we got about 40 something seconds left here. I just want to um, double this that this is denture fit on a lower denture. I already did the top. Um, so again, uh, this month for February, if you buy whichever kit you buy, I got the bigger kit. I got the bigger kit with the snug up. So whichever kit you buy, uh, the smaller kit, the this with the snug up, you will still get an extra tube of silicone um, if you put in the code KISS, K-I-S-S. -S. Um, you'll get 20% off and an extra tube of the silicone. So, okay. Now, set this for four minutes. Now, I'm going to put both gloves on. This one. The only reason you don't have to do this. This is me. This is my first time doing this, and I don't want to get any um, oils on anything. Man, you can tell I haven't worn. I haven't used these in a while. So. I put the gloves on just to be, you know, I want to be really careful. All right. So, oh, before I do this, I'm going to put my top in. I 
got a little weird taste to it, but it's okay. It'll go away over time. I think it's because I'm going to sit on the counter. So I have to have my top and to do my bottom. All right. So I had to watch the video. So now we're going to twist it this way. You hear the click. This is for, again, the bottom denture. You must have your top in and seating correctly or it will not work. So there's the click. And it's mixing. Now, one of the videos that I watched, I couldn't find their video, but I found Bill's video. And the way he did it is he went, okay, on the edge here first. Now, again, when I do this, because everything that, you know, goes up on your edge, when you put it in your mouth, it pushes it down into... everything also from my understanding if you don't have these high deep walls like I do um, denture fit probably will not work as great for you because your doesn't have anything to hug the side of your jawbone so this need to go down to your jawbone for it to really work um, it will work I'm not saying it won't work, but it just is not as great. So now I'm going to put the rest of this. I'm going to use this whole tube because I am quite... Seeing that's where I had my jawbone removed. So I'm going to go along the edges here. And I'm going to use just an entire tube. I don't think I'm going to use much there. Let's do back here. Okay. Now, seat this in for four minutes, and again, I'm going to pause it for the four minutes. Now, let's see. Got to try to get in without touching anything. Huh. Still coming loose on the top a little bit. Okay. Now, sit for four minutes and do nothing. Whoops. So I'm going to start that. I'm going to pause the video again. I won't need these because I'm done with that. So we're going to sit quietly for four minutes. Okay, about 30 seconds left. We're gonna see. Okay, my four minutes is up. I don't think I'll have to do the bottom again. Um, it feels pretty tight, so. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the bottom out now because normally it just would pop out, but I do feel some flashing. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, wow. How did I get it up on my teeth? Oh, I. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm very, very, very more loose than I thought I really was because look, that was a whole tube, and I only have flashing here. A little bit right here which I may have to peel that um, oh I do have it out here but you know what most of this out along here not really up here it did come up it did come up the edge here and here where my sore spots were I do have some in here I don't know if you can see that probably not with my fingers in the way See it right there? So I'll have to get that out. Um, so yeah, I healed up 
a lot, a lot more than I really thought I did. This must have been when I was trying to put it in. Or it just, I don't know, oozed out. So, let's do the trim. Look at that. I don't even have anything in here. And these are my permanent dentures, okay? So, like I said, I was um, having my surgeries. I did them. Oops, let's turn these over this way. I did my surgeries um, just a few at a time, a few teeth at a time, because I was having extreme anxiety and panic attacks, panic disorder. I have panic disorder and panic attacks. The silicone is pink, but it's very, very, very light pink, which is fine. I don't care. Even if it was clear, it would be good. But I do think this is going to be, this is a, a, a good, a good product. Um, it's just with me right now and this is going to probably this this is going to help me i think a lot um with my i'm still going to have to use i think adhesive the true test will be when i go to eat something okay i've got it up on here too i had to get that out there see where it's slick it's really not going to stick so I can just pull my kid right on the other side of my wall. Sorry, he's noisy and I, he just doesn't know how to shut up. And then it's, see, so I have to get right here. This doesn't really bother me too much, I don't think. Let me, let's see. I'm just going to try to just trim where it bothers me. Um, wow. <laughs> back on my mouth. Wow, feels nice. Something's, I feel something over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was on my mouth, on my lip. What? What? I don't know. Oh. Go look and see what the heat's on. So sorry. I can't edit that out either. I guess we're having heat problems in the house. At least our polar vortex is gone. So now, yeah, they're complaining it's getting cold. Okay, so let me see here. It's tighter, but... Leave it at 72. It's still, um, wow, I'm still really loose, though. I am probably still going to have to glue. But, um, I don't know if I want to do a second one on the bottom. At least that's better than that. Hard acrylic. That hard acrylic was killing me. First day. So, um, I have, let me see what I have left here. I do have... Nope, that's, nope, that's a half. So I have a half a tube left. And I have, okay, and I have a full tube still. Because I did the deal, so I got an extra tube. So normally I would only have just this half tube left. Oh boy, and I still have the top and the bottom to do. So, oh, and this extra. This has to go in here so I don't accidentally throw that out. I am feeling some extra silicone pieces. Oh, I have to put this in there too. Um, that I did not feel at first, which is fine. I just have to trim those off, or it could be stuff that got stuck in my mouth for all I know, and I didn't feel it right away. So 
I'm probably still gonna have to use um, adhesive, which it's it's not a big deal. At least I won't have to use as much adhesive now, and I can actually talk with them. So I only have to use the adhesive when I'm eating. So and and that's fine with me. At least for now. Until I um. The top is still I might have to do another one on the top because I'm still feeling I still have bare spots but the suction is there I know uh, I still have that rocking in the back and the front and I don't think I I know that's not the denture fit that that is my denture and how I healed so when I go in uh, six months well four months now and get my hard realign at least this will get me to where I can put them in and I can wear them so I only have to glue them when I'm eating which is fine that's not a big deal I just put the powder and the powder doesn't always get, you know, I, I do feel some air bubbles up in there. So I might have to do, but we're going to go a few days and see how it is. Um, I'm going to try to eat with just the denture fit and, um, not adding the glue and see how that goes. But you know, again, the denture fit, it seems like it's a good product. It really does. Um, For those of you that are done with all your healing and you're not shrinking still, this, and you've already had your hard lines. See, like I said, now I had my surgeries. Um, I had four, four, six, five, no, four, four, five, six, and then the six in the front. And I had them done uh, in two weeks, four weeks for the first one because then I ended up with... Um, uh, did, did I get an infection? No. So I had four weeks. I had to wait on the first one. She went on vacation. And then um, then I got this done and I ended up with an infection. There was like a bone chip was stuck in there. And it caused an infection. And then um, I already had an infection in here and I had an infection in the front when we pulled this. And then she did these and then I had the infection up there. So it was two week intervals after that. So I had this done and then two weeks, and then two weeks, and then two weeks. Um, and then I went, so I had the last one was August 27th of 2018. And then October 5th, I started getting my impressions done. So, because I was on a time uh, schedule, I had to have all this done before December 1st. Because if I did not have it done before December 1st, my medical would not cover it. And I would have to go who knows how long. So I would kind of have to crunch it in there. So this six month when I get my real line. And uh, so I waited, technically I waited three months and then I went and got my dentures. Um, I would have had them before December had my first set of wax try-ins not been all screwed up. Um... I will have to get used to the bulkiness in the back. I, I can definitely feel that. That's kind of, um, I may have to trim more back there. That's kind of bugging me, but it could be, you know, I got some air pockets going on and stuff, but this also tells, that also lets me know when I get my hard realign, they may, I may have to have them shave off the back some more. Um, just because it's now pushing back more than it was. See there? Yeah, it's sliding back more. So I'll have to glue in still, but I won't have to, you know, I can look, I'm talking, I'm not falling out, I can smile, but not. The bottom is not lifting as bad now. See, I couldn't do that before. To do that, the bottom will pop right out. To do that, it will pop right out. It's not popping. So it's good. It's working. I just healed up more 
a lot more than what I thought. And I, next time when I order this, I'm gonna have to order two, <laughs> probably two kits. A full kit, this with the snug up, and then the other smaller kit that has the two. So I'll need, because obviously I need a lot more, I'll have to, have to do three tubes on, two full tubes on the top, and one in the bottom. So I'll have to use three, three tubes to get me to my next realign. Then once my realign's done, then I'll probably be fine after that. Um, so, as it is, hold on, because I said I would let you see my baby kittens. So let me pause real quick. Did it pause? No. Nope. Wow, look at that. I magically have a kitty on my lap. <laughs> this is my bottle baby kitten. Look how big she's gotten. This is one of the bottle babies. The other one, I don't know where she's at. She went and she hit on me. But this is Willy Bear. This is the one I found it. One of the, one of the two that I found at two weeks old and I bottle fed them. For weeks and they're getting so big they're so lovable yeah these are the ones that were under the door trying to get in they were um they're getting big i miss bottle feeding them so now i had to take these out and i had to let them cure yuck <laughs> i had to let them cure for Two hours and then um and then we'll see how they are um i think i can rinse them off so i will um i will let you guys know in uh a couple of weeks well maybe a week and if i have to do another on the top i will um i will make the other video for that this video is going to be split into two because I can't pop them together. You know, YouTube doesn't let us do it anymore. And we have to do it on um, our computers. And I don't have the program to do it. So. so, there we go. The top is in one video. I'll try to post them. You know, the links to, to each video. I'll do that. And uh, the bottom is this video so I did a top and a bottom and the top and the bottom can be done you can do the bottom and the bottom does fill because you have to have the high ridges like that so now I gotta let them sit for two hours okay baby girl you, know, you want to go down I gotta let them sit for two hours and then um, I can put them in again so I'm probably not gonna put them in again tonight so they have to sit out and dry and then I can clean them and wash them as normal so okay don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell thingy. I think it's over there. I'm not sure. Um, so that you can keep updated on when my videos come out. You um, feel free to skip through where I wasn't able to pause my video. I'm sorry. You can skip through that or watch me for four minutes, sit with my thumb in my mouth and do <laughs> nothing. I didn't even... Yeah, I can't. The gloves, it doesn't work. So, we're going to go a few days like this. Try to eat with it and see. But I think I'm going to end up doing um, the other half on this top. I didn't realize I shrunk that bad. Um, I'm small frame too, so they said that I would really shrink. But, jeez. I didn't think I'd shrink like this. So, there we go. That is your... <laughs> It's biting me. That is um, denture fit on both the top and the bottom. And like I said, this 20% um, off is for the month of February 2019. Um, well, not the month of February, but it's going to end. It's, it's a Valentine's Day one. So it may end at Valentine's Day. It may end after. I don't know. I don't know when it ends. So, get your kit and get your 20% off plus your extra tube of silicone. If it's your first time and you've shrunk as much as me, you're probably going to use it. But other than that, so far it seems like it's a good product. So, I will be back in um, a, probably a week. I have to eat on them and, and you know, see. Because I think I might still be shrinking. So, that may be another issue I'm having. But, 
as of right now, I can wear them and talk in them and they're not flipping out, they're not falling out. So I may still have to wear glue. That's, that's okay right now because I know I still have, you know, five months to go, four months, four months, four months to go before my first hard realign. And even then I am going to put this in after my hard realign because I have a cat at my back. <laughs> I have, um, I have sensitive gums, so I, um, the hard acrylic itself, itself on my gums hurts, and this did make it nice and cushiony soft. I did notice that right away. Um, it, it makes it so it doesn't hurt, and I got the sore spots. Um, not the sore spots, but the, um, the, um, sensitive spots. She's, she wants up here. She's gonna jump up my back. She does it all the time. That's bottle babies. So, okay. Oh, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you can't get up here, baby girl. The other one is hiding. She won't come out. <laughs> no. So, okay. Sorry, she's gotta check everything out. Say bye, Wooly Bear. Get back up there. She does this when I'm cleaning my teeth, too. 